What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I want to make a video kind of talking about some of the improvements that Update 27 will be bringing to the game. Today on their Twitter, they uh, on the uh, Elder Scrolls Twitter, they linked some performance improvements preview from the forums. I'm going to link this information down in the description if you guys want to read over this in detail. They did talk about some of this a few days ago. They've gone a little bit more in depth with this forum here or this information. So like I said, if you want to go in depth about this, I will link it all down in the description. Uh, I'm going to apologize for any noise in the background that my mic may pick up. There's some construction work going on outside of my home. I promise I'm not uh, recording this live from a construction site. But in case that does pick up uh, some of that noise in my microphone or in the video, I do apologize for that. The first thing they talked about really with uh, what they're looking to do with Update 27 is fix some of the issues that AOE abilities bring in Cyrodiil. You know, if you're in Cyrodiil, you're casting AOE, AOE abilities, you're getting hit by them. A lot of times it causes FPS problems, it causes latency problems. And they said that's really just due to the client being bogged down with all these messages over time. So it says what they're looking to do is implement a new tech that they have developed to kind of reduce how much information the client has to get from these AOE abilities. This new tech, they said, has really shown a reduction in latency and FPS drops to the client. And they're kind of, I guess, kind of being cautious with this. They said right now what they're going to do for Update 27 is solely focus on the Dragon Knight standard and morphs. This will uh, evaluate and improve, of course, the ability on the PTS and live servers and continue to update additional player abilities in future updates. So right now, all we're going to see is Dragon Knight Standard and its more for Update 27. But hopefully, in the upcoming months, Cyrodiil will see a big improvement with this kind of uh, new tech that they have developed when they add it to all the AOE, AOE abilities, and it should make the game run a lot smoother on all platforms. It says they have been uh, dealing with issues and like critical memory situations. It says they know it's frustrating to you know be able to teleport into a busy city and encounter a crash. They says to prevent these crashes, the console version will now detect the game or what the game is about to run uh, when the game is going to run out of memory and react by temporarily uploading or unloading vanity pets and personalities from players outside of your group. It says they were able to build upon the work completed in Update 26 and move the vanity pets to the client to help make this possible. Once the memory is back within the safe threshold, these assets will begin to load back into and players will move around the world, you know, accordingly. Uh, I do play, of course, on PS4. I know Xbox has the same issue. It is a horrible thing to have to load in somewhere. You know, you get that unusually long load time because it's a very popular area. There's some areas on PS4 that are more popular than others. I'm sure it's the same on Xbox. And that's because those are the more popular areas people like to shop in. That's the, you know, the guild traders they like to shop at. You go to some of these areas, and as soon as you load in, after that unusually long load time screen, you crash immediately. It is very, very frustrating. So hopefully this will help improve that issue. It says the team has also been working uh, on item set abilities. It says they're focusing on looking for ways to improve performance. This has resulted in a re uh, reduced uh, calculations and server and similar to the AOE improvements a reduction in the number of messages sent down from the client process so hopefully all of this stuff that's kind of in this you know forum they put out looks like it's going to just improve quality of life things in game for you know lag for latency for crashes and that's pretty much what this whole kind of information or the whole thing they're looking to do with update 27 and I think that's a really good thing for the game in general uh, some other things they talked about, of course, was the uh, their physics engine. It's a, especially dealing with keep pieces in Cyrodiil. So they have noticed some problems, you know, over the last few years. So they took some time to clean up the code surrounding this, reducing unnecessary complexity and making keep pieces behave more like normal fixtures. It says the end result of the fit, uh, physics hardening should be fewer bugs and crashes. Once again, while in Cyrodiil. Uh, of course, they did also talk about performance for trials. It says their metrics have shown that trial performance on the server has not been a consistent experience. Uh, I said sometimes trials would just simultaneously, uh, routinely perform worse overall. So they've taken a pass at the algorithm 
which will determine how trial instances are distributed and now factor this into account. This should uh, make trial performance results a lot better than they have been in the past. And I know, once again, from the console side, that trial performance is worse for some than it is others. Sometimes it might be worse for me than it is somebody else or vice versa. I know they also have trial performance issues on PC. So it looks like, once again, this is going to be just some bug fixes, some back-end changes for stuff that has been around that's causing issues in the game for a while. And hopefully it will make trial performance overall a lot better just in general. It says also they talked about database improvements. They made some back-end changes to incorporate an in-memory database cache in their server process. This will reduce the amount of content uh, on production databases when under stress. Initially for update 27, they are setting the foundation and focusing on a small piece of the activity finder tool which should result in smoother processing overall. And last but not least, the last thing they talked about was intermittent loading screens. Now, I'm sure most of you have experienced this, whether you play PvP or PvE. You will just go into an area, all of a sudden you'll hit a loading screen. You may move a few more feet and hit another loading screen. You may be stuck in one loading screen for longer than uh, another time. It says they've identified two areas where this uh, behavior could occur. The first issue is a bug with streaming of scaled assets that are switching between LOD modes and main models. This should go to the live servers with an upcoming U26. Uh, so some of this stuff may have already been kind of added in with update 26, but they said the second issue was regarding a bug that could cause the game to have a much biz bigger physics streaming radius when a high view distance is selected, resulting in more loads than necessary. It says the fix will release with update 27, and they will be actively monitoring the live server metrics after 27 to determine if the uh, if an additional investigation and work is needed. It says kind of at the end, they know this won't solve every issue that all the players are experiencing, and there's still a lot of work to be done, but they will continue working diligently to provide the best experience possible. Be on the lookout for some experimental Cyrodiil changes over the course of Update 27, and details will come in the future. Uh, details for that will come in a future update. So some pretty good information. It looks like they're, like I said, just doing a lot of changes for this kind of back-end fixes, bug fixes, some things that have been around in the game for a while. It looks like they've identified a lot of this stuff. And I'm really glad to hear this because I think that's a lot of people's frustration when they play a lot of these bugs, a lot of these crashes, a lot of these loading screens. They kind of get frustrated with it and stop playing, or they get frustrated with it and don't play as much. So hopefully this will just improve overall gameplay experience in general. Of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.